Outlander. Outlander. Okay. We are at Don. We are at Don Castle, and uh, just heard this is famous for Outlander and Monty Python, and so we're going to be taking a look around here today and see just what's going on. Probably check out the sign first over here. So here we see some information about Don Castle. Circular walk takes you along the peaceful river Tice to a bustling drone village where you can find cafes and shops. We're not going to do any of that. But we are going to go through the castle and it is, uh, I see there's also a fort here, a Roman fort in the area. So that's the castle itself. The keeper's cottage is over there. Not anymore. <laughs> well, now it's for interest. So just up and into the tunnel. Thank you. Thank you. And now we're on our way in. We will pick up on the inside. Okay, we're entering into the castle. Right here. Hello. Have you got tickets for today? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we go. Exactly. You just want to go into the ticket office and go in the I'll just wait here, so. Well, we'll be walking around here quite a bit. Through the cellars, under the great hall, used to keep grain out of necessities. Water in the lower circular room. And this was the garden. I'm sure, there's no one wanted visitors in the castle. Number one is here, just in Cellars.
this must have been the well that they talked about. Castle is seen today, built in the late 1300s. Strong hold for Robert Stewart, Duke of Albany. And the brother of King Robert II came control of the area in 1361. Married to Margaret Graham, brought him to Eldon. And here is where it was transformed into the fantasy castle here. This is what it might have looked like in 1407. Probably buildings running around all four sides, which would make sense. to bend the well. Hello, Aisho, my son. Hello, Aisho. Hello, Aisho. <laughs> Hello, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Quite a bit here. Very interesting. We're looking at everything today, of course. Quite a few people here, but not many as one would think. Famous, though, no doubt. Such a spectacular place. Do you know how deep the fountain is? It's about 18 meters. 18 meters. Yes. So okay. if you imagine from the That's as deep down as it and we're going in the castle itself. <laughs> ah, servery. Food from the kitchen was taken from the serving hut. Hatches and delivered to the Great Hall. Leads up to a bedchamber. It goes up over the major part. This was the kitchen. That's the bread oven. 
in the kitchen. And this is the fireplace. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is the fireplace, and over there was the bread oven. Quite amazing. Place. I find all these things so fascinating. And this is the bread. Inside here because it was too delicate for hanging lights. Mm. So they recast the entire building. They took cat prints and everything and recreated it. Wow. My wife is commenting on what she is learning off the recording. So these buttresses that come out were the floors, right? Because mm -hmm. all the bed chambers right. are going up. Yeah. Do you want to look over there first before we go up? Sure. Yes, yeah, the Great Hall. Makes sense. This is where the, the upper class, I guess you would say, stayed. It's all been reconstructed, we can tell, but in the original sense. And here's information on the filming of Outlander here. And how they rearranged everything to make it look real. Service, service stair, leading down to the basement vaults. May have been a wine cellar. And you can see the narrowness. No doubt this is where the Lord and Lady sat.
better perspective of the Great Hall here. That's the Minstrel's Gallery. Ah, the Minstrel Gallery up there. Music of the day. Various for the high table, which would make sense. This is where the ruler would sit. Now we're going to be going up the stairs, up the stairs. Interesting going up. Narrow stairs. And I'm taking my time. As you can all imagine. Uh, we will get another view of this. This must have been the large chamber. We will find out as we go up, I'm sure. This is probably a private space for the Duke to entertain. Quite amazing. Central Court yet, where we were before. See the well down there? And the countryside. Very impressive. The size of the windows, the size of the, the openings. There was another floor above this at one point. You can see as you look, you can see the spots for the timbers for the floor. Another room up there, no doubt, maybe it was the Duke. Large fireplace. This one you can't see the top. Must be sealed. They have a walk into town also. I don't think we'll be taking that. But probably the Duke owned as far as you could see here. Of 
quite the impressive room. Quite the impressive room. That is the remains of whitewashing. These walls would have all been very white and mm. bright. Down across the top of the wall. It's a private chapel for the Duke and his wife. Ah. And that was a private chapel over there. Well, we'll continue on up. This way, one way continues. This. Another little antechamber. All of this would have been whitewashed, of course. Small openings, of course, probably for heat. Keeping heat in rooms. Duchess's bedchamber. Nice. Very nice. Pretty tricky, as you can tell. <laughs> as I'm coming down these stairs, it's not that easy. I'm watching it quite a bit as we go down. And there you see a mason's mark. This is yet another room. I bet you this is the Duke's chamber. And what is interesting are the mason marks and or graffiti that is on the wall here. Very interesting. No no graffiti. Uh, that's what I thought, the Duke's bedchamber. That was the 
Privy. Uh, privy, or as they would have said, a garderon. Ah. Never finished the castle. Never got to see it finished. Amazing the stair work and the, the stonework for the stairs. Just incredible. And this is yet another large hall. Place perhaps allowed him to choose between one or two fighters. The medieval lords oversaw local justice. People were brought before the Duke. Evidence was presented and sentence passed. Look for the trap door in a small chamber next to the hall. Guilty lord down into a pit prison. Interesting. This room is whitewashed and finished off much as it would have been. Fireplaces for the warmth. Ah. This must be the trap door that was used to lower prisoners down into the cells. This is how the rest of the castle yeah. This room. Oh, no, this is where I was wrong. This is where the prisoners would have been lowered down into the cells. So this would have been <laughs> for the prisoners when they got guilty. That's where they went, right down into the prison cells. I'm not sure what this is, but we will take a look. Low ceiling. Oh, and this is the garden room. How did you know what this was? Uh, the privy. As they would say here, it was on a sign. But how did you know that this was her prisoners? It was on a sign. Oh, I missed it. Yes, they would lower the prisoners down into the cell. Ah. And this is the gutter room, or the bathroom. For not prisoners, right? No. Cold seat. Yeah, well... The most trusted person to the king is the guy who would wipe his butt. And he had a special title, which escapes me at the moment. It's amazing, the doors. Duke of Albany. Albany, New York is named after the Duke of Albany. 
and we're back outside. It was probably another cellar or storage area, I would imagine. It looks like it. But no, there's no signs here. Python and the Holy Grail. It's a gift shop. I look at Joan Castle. Famous for Outlander. Famous for Monty Python. So it's quite a quite a place. So that's it. That's the look at the castle. We're on our way out right now. We're on our way out right now. And uh, had a wonderful time here looking around. So as I usually say. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget the like button. Don't forget to ring the bell and pass it on. If you uh, know other people that like this sort of thing, pass it on. I've got a number of different playlists. Um, and this is, this is part of it. So we'll be seeing more. Have a nice day.